Caleb, 30 years old, living 61 miles away. Trigger warning, let me guess, you're 25 with three kids and you done had your fun. Now you don't want that, you want a real man to settle down with and take care of you and your kids because you let a loser inside of you. <laughs> I'm six inches, have my own house, two vehicles, and make over $75,000 a year. What do you bring to the table? If the answer is someone else's kids, then you can go kick rocks. No man will ever want you. Stop saying you're thick, you're obese, also, you're not a dog mom, you're a pet owner. Jesus, this guy is screaming towards a brick wall. He's having an argument with almost no one. He's literally arguing and attempting to get away from a caricature. A caricature of a stereotypical SJW woman online. It's so sad because he sounds like the type to still be upset that he didn't get any action after putting all of this in his bio. And to be honest, I have never seen a male version of the female bio that looks exactly like this. It's a little bit different. It usually says, no short men, no Trumpies, don't be conservative. I'm polyamorous, not looking, you know, for anything serious. Anti-monogamy and body positivity. You, you've met that and have seen that bio and everybody can recognize how cringy that is so dude you're exactly that just the male version please get a grip what is something that you've done purely out of the goodness of your heart but never told anyone controversial comments oh oh lord i jacked one while thinking about the weird girl from high school with no friends did you really think that sounded altruistic or are you just trying to twist a knife if you're already going to make fun of someone for being ugly and weird and friendless you don't have to go out of your way to put salt in the wound by saying that you gave her a pity <laughs> <laughs> a pity fap. And before we get to the next post, let me sprinkle some social wisdom on you guys, just so that you know when to call these type of people out. If anyone in your friend group or social group goes out of their way to talk about somebody else being friendless or ugly or unpopular, yet they'll do something sexual with them out of pity, or they're willing to date them out of pity, they're going out of their way to say that because they have genuine feelings for that person and they just don't want to be embarrassed with the fact that the person that they have feelings for may not be popular or may not be, you know, super attractive. If you ever meet someone like that, cut them out of their life because they're really awful people. Gotta snuggle up to keep warm and take a look at my dog and not my chest. This isn't about my chest, even though it's center in the photo. It's not about my chest, I swear. And also, that OnlyFans link in the pinned comment is totally there by coincidence. I don't want you guys to click it and sign up for it and take a look at all of my pictures where I don't have clothes on. A lot of people wouldn't believe me if I told you that there were multiple, I'm talking like dozens, of gay furry dating sims on Steam. This is not the only one. There are so much more. In the descriptions, I, I really implore you, if you have a Steam account, please read the descriptions and see how long it takes for you to throw the f*** up. Not recommended. Didn't know that Steam allowed my friends to see what I was playing. <laughs> uh, yeah, we thank you for your sacrifice and for buying the game. Uh, but yeah, everybody can see, especially if you have a Discord account. How many seconds, how many moments were there between this photo and she breaking up with you, bro? Her face tells a story, and that story says, I regret every minute that I had to spend with this man in bed. Dad with breast cancer is rejected from support groups because he's a man. A dad says he's felt isolated and lonely after being rejected by Facebook groups because he's a male when he got his breast cancer. Could you imagine getting literal cancer and people still being crappy to you? Man. He clearly survived it. He had the cancer cut out and people are still crappy to him. Have you ever been so progressive that you go out of your way to segregate white people out of your POC space because you feel unsafe? Public service announcement. Excuse me. If y'all didn't know, this is the MSC. And frankly, there's just too many white people in here. And this is a space for people of color. So just be really cognizant of the space that you're taking up because it does make some of us POCs uncomfortable when we see too many white people in here. It's only been open for four days, and frankly, there's the whole university for a lot of y'all to be at, and there's very few spaces for us. So keep that in mind. Thank you. Dude, I seriously can't wait for the future. I bet we'll have flying cars by 2020. 
Meanwhile, in 2021, Demi Lovato sings to ghosts to help them overcome trauma caused by sexism in a past life. I swear, this woman does literally everything to get an article written about her. And it's clear she's scraping the bottom of the barrel. She doesn't have any more genders or sexualities to co-opt, so now she's literally singing to dead people in order to get some sort of, I don't know, recognition? We are reaching Karen levels that shouldn't even be possible. Isn't that a confederate flag? That's racist! Alright everybody, we're gonna play a fun game in the comments called What's Your Vagina's Name? Pick your birth month and day and share your answer. My vagina's name is Love Pit. Oh. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen this clip, but to those who haven't, settle in. It's about to be crazy. I'll give you a little bit of context, though. This young woman with the green hair has been mooching off of her mother for months, going out of her way to not pay rent, and trying to gaslight and brainwash her mother into giving her a free room to stay in because she's schizophrenic and trans, even though none of that was true and she's just trying not to leave the house because she has no marketable skills. Now get ready for the level of manipulation. It's absolutely ridiculous. You legally have to give me a month. I don't because you haven't paid one brown penny. I, I'm not obligated to and I le I can't afford to. Guess what? Doesn't matter. You can't just tell me I have two weeks to find somewhere. You've had over a month. And no, I haven't. Look, you have done nothing but dig your heels in and try and make me feel bad about you. No, I haven't. Bad. I've been trying to educate you. No, your education is brainwashing. No, it's not. You just won't listen to me. No, I'm not going to listen to this crap. Now you talk. I have me. schizophrenia. I don't care what you have. I don't. <laughs> it doesn't mean we live in squalor. And it doesn't mean you're a bully. You, I'm not even a bully. You literally dead need me, misgender me, and tell me that, like... Oh, no, not again. Not another Mr. Hotep post. Did you know that the original Buddha was wearing the hairstyle known today as Bantu knots? The ancient people of Asia were black. There are numerous Greek and Roman records about these Ethiopians, black people, living from Africa to India. Buddha was not a fat, white, Asian man, as we were taught today. Where do I even start? It's crazy how people like this share just misinformation on every single social media platform about African history. There is copious amounts of genuine information and history about the African people and their cultural and intellectual contributions to the world. But when you start co-opting other people's history and start attributing other things from other races to black people, it waters down genuine black history. It's extremely frustrating when I read articles like this because it just makes things worse. How about sharing legitimate information instead of fan fiction. Fan pays $450,000 to be Snoop Dogg's metaverse neighbor. Jesus, every day things are starting to turn into Ready Player One, but worse. That movie was kinda cool. This is just dystopian. Blockchain company burns $95,000 original Banksy piece in order for it to truly live on in the digital world as an NFT. The fact that literal images on the internet are causing legitimate controversy and legitimate things to be lost, like a nice piece of art from Banksy, it goes to show that the first world really is running out of problems. We're just creating them at this point. The fact that people have legitimate emotional conviction, both negative or positive, to images online goes to show that maybe we've really fumbled it. Maybe we really just messed up when it comes to technological innovation because it's just ruining the human race at this point. Stuff like OnlyFans, NFTs, and Metaverse keep pushing me to become a Luddite. No, 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 no. Here's a beautiful picture of my canine husband Rest in peace, 2005 to 2014. He was my first zoo sexual relationship, and he gave me unforgettable experiences, feelings that I will cherish even in my deathbed. I'm not gonna show the picture, it's nothing innately sexual, but the dog, the way that it's taken, just take my word for it. It's hard not to imagine that the dog probably would have lived longer if you hadn't done what you did to it. And I can only imagine what you've done to that dog and what you think that dog wanted you to do to it. The only thing positive about this entire situation is that the dog's death means he no longer has to suffer through whatever you did to him. Look at those hashtags. LGBTQ, love is blind, zoo sexuality, animals can consent. How much delusion do you live under? How many layers of BS do you have to accept and live under to participate in your inane degeneracy, to abuse? 
abuse and harm an innocent creature that only loves you, that loves you for you. You abused him, you took advantage of him, and you have the audacity to share your perversion with the world as if it's something to be proud of. God, people like you and your community makes me sick. You're a scourge, you're a virus. And every day I have to read and listen to stories of people who you've groomed into doing this. Your community is responsible for teaching children to do awful things to their animals, all because you don't want to be alone in your perversion. I love the idea of replacing white culture and art that represents colonization, white supremacy, and perpetuates European beauty standards with black art that is just as more beautiful than the originals. Yes, because sketching over and appropriating art from Europe that has nothing to do with colonization is how you beat colonization. And you claiming that this art perpetuating European beauty standards as a bad thing is funny because both of these paintings are from Europe. What other beauty standards would they portray? I'm confused about why you think that's a problem. It's incredibly insane that you're upset that these paintings from centuries ago don't represent African people when African people were never indigenous to Europe. This is just stupid race baiting and point scoring and to be honest I don't even know why you're having this conversation or starting this fight because you're Jewish. You're not even black. Oh God. No. No! Please no. Where the f is Ben? Bryce Skywalker. No! Inspired by 90 Day Fiance fart jars, a team mom star is now selling her poop. It really wouldn't be a cringe-topia video without the Cooperphiliacs, huh? They always make an appearance. And the fact that there's even someone on the planet who's recognized as a teen mom star just really messes me up. In no society should you ever celebrate teen mothers, but I guess in America, we chose to figure out a way to make money off of it. I hope you're strapped in, because this next post was trending on Cringetopia for a little bit, only because of the title to the article. It's ridiculous. Transgender p 60 who was jailed for 20 months for having cocaine fueled sex with dog is sent to a male prison because she is not legally a woman. Yeah, go ahead and let that sink in a little bit. Let that sit and stew for a second. Cocaine fueled sex with a dog. And a p This article goes to show that literally anything is possible. That there's no impossible combinations of depravity out there. Somebody is gonna just combine two awful things. And homeboy here went out of his way and did it. UK's biggest cervical cancer charity shuts down disgustingly transphobic lie that only females get cervical cancer. Is it absolutely possible for a trans man to get cervical cancer? Yes, because they still have female genitalia. This post in particular isn't talking about them. It's talking about trans women who don't have female genitalia and are upset that people are telling them that they can never get cervical cancer. You can't and you never will. You're not a biological woman, so you'll never get cervical cancer. I have no idea why this is such a controversial controversial thing, why we can't talk about absolutes, why we can't talk about objective reality. You can transition into whatever gender you want to be, but biological reality will always remain. And to make a fuss about how you're not being treated for cervical cancer when you're a trans woman only takes resources away from women and trans men. The same could be said about trans men trying to visit a urologist. It's absolutely ridiculous and I don't understand why we're having these always online arguments in person now. This used to be stuff that people would talk about on Tumblr. But just like I said in the other post, it seems like anything is possible now. Millennials standing on block of ice until climate change takes their lives. This is by far the most performative activism I've ever seen, ever, in this entire subreddit so far. Somebody really standing on a block of ice waiting for a loose noose to strangle them to death. Are you serious? If you genuinely wanted to talk about how climate change is affecting human lives, you could have flown to any Pacific island right now and film and document rampant flooding. But no, you chose to chill here, in the middle of a town, on pieces of ice. How short is too short in a guy? Uh, I like tall boys, so you gotta be at least 6'5". Six 6'5"? Five. Six five? Yeah. Okay, how tall are you? 5'10". Five 5'10"? Ten. Five ten? Okay, how tall do you think I am? Mm, we're like the same height, but the braids make you look a little shorter. The braids make me look shorter? Yes. Wonderful. Okay, so look, I'm gonna shoot my shot like I'm Devin Booker. Can I bag you? Honey, do you know who I am? Google me. Do your research. Do my research? Google me right now. You trying to do something strange for a piece of change? Cause there's something about you, girl. 
I don't think you have enough money for me. <laughs> All right. Oh my god, no, it's full screen. Grandpa, you gotta chill out, my man. Do you not realize you're in public? Everybody in the library can see your screen, dude. And there's something really perverse about a six-year-old man being in defeat. Been trying to put on a good face since I lost my ape, but I gotta be honest. This is my kid's college, my mortgage. Just absolute crap that some of you out here think it's okay that I got ripped off. Screw you if you think theft is okay because I wasn't smart enough. Man, cow's milk has long been a symbol used by white supremacists. One more reason to ditch dairy. You fell for it. You seriously fell for the 4chan psyop that drinking milk makes you Aryan, drinking milk makes you more European. There's plenty of black people in the United States who can drink milk because they have white ancestry, so does that make them white? Even though the vast majority of Asian people are lactose intolerant, there are some, specifically in the United States, who can drink milk. Does that make them white? I swear, how is this not common sense to other people? Just question it for 10 seconds, just think about it for a moment and you'll realize how much BS this is. Please let this be a joke, if it is, it's so hilarious, it's such a, it's very funny, you got me, it's funny, but by the way that you guys are built and the way that you're, I just have a feeling that this is real and if that's the case, I really hope that you're like 15, please be a child, don't be grown, This you can only get away with this look when you're 15 years old. Hi everyone, I'm a social reject and I need weirdcore themed pronouns, pronoun request. Look, I like, you know, weirdcore, an aesthetic that feels so unreal, sometimes so disturbing, but sometimes comfortable, sometimes making you feel nostalgia when seeing images that you never actually saw. Any pronouns related to that aesthetic casually gives you tea. Can we please leave neo pronouns in 2020? Can we please give this up? Oh my god, I understand that you don't have friends. I understand that you don't have a personality. I understand that no one likes you because you're insanely insufferable. But calling yourself eyes, I, eyes, I self is not going to get you any friends. People are just going to avoid you more. For the love of god, see a therapist or a life coach or something. You need some help. You need some sort of social help. No, 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 no! Poly incest, baby. I, 24 female, have an interesting situation that I thought would be fun to share. Me and my brothers, 27 male and 31 male, have been in a relationship for almost six years now, and we've been doing great. We found out I was expecting recently, and we were all thrilled. They both seem that they're going to be great dads, wondering if any fellow incest parents have any advice and tips on how to handle the unusual situation, or even if someone shared a similar story. Let me know! Situations like this really cement me in my belief that nations need to bring back decency laws. Stuff like this cannot happen, it has to be illegal, it just has to be. I don't care if it happens in your house and I don't care if everybody's an adult, some stuff is just wrong. Everything sucks right now, but Jonas Brothers did a TikTok with Joe Biden and it's amazing! Glad to know that BuzzFeed is still being BuzzFeed, even after everyone told them to stop being themselves. Straight from the official Billie Eilish Instagram account, we have this question. Do you be squirting, or are you on the green team? <laughs> hey everyone, I'm just gonna post this for now. Might delete in like 30 minutes, but do you think I'm cute? Well, hurry up! My father turned 90 and wanted to do a photo shot to be posted on social media, even though he isn't on it. Um, I want to like those photos, but I need to know who they voted for president and what they were doing, like, during the 60s. <laughs> for real though, like, my first thought was like, this man is definitely a racist. Why is Twitter like this? Why can't anybody be happy for anyone on that platform? This dude's celebrating 90 years on the same moldy rock that we're all living on. Something that most of us will never see. Most of us are probably gonna die at 82 or 85. This man surpassed his due date and all you have to offer him is accusations of something really terrible. Vanilla is naturally black, so why is everything that we eat that says vanilla is white? That's just to show you how twisted up and racist this society is. This is the original color it should be. Nobody's saying that vanilla the bean is white. The reason why people associate vanilla with white is because their first interaction with the flavor is through the ice cream. And you want to know why it's white with the ice cream? Because ice cream is made out of milk, and milk is white. I can't believe a person like this that has such a triple B rated, low tier, bargain basement IQ is allowed to post online. It's dangerous. She might encourage someone to drink bleach because she thinks it whitens teeth. I can't believe she went out of her way and really posted this online. Did everybody else 
most agree? Absolutely. I can already smell the comments. I already know that people didn't use an ounce of common sense and believed and took what she said at face value. It's absolutely ridiculous and it just infuriates me. Only because this person turned ice cream into a racial issue. It's not. It's ice cream. Please stop. Stop it. Why do you live in this world that is 100% political? Please get a life. Get a personality. Get some brain cells, because we all know that you bankrupt. That brain cell bank account is about as dry as your hands. Please, please, take away her phone. Whoever is in control of this woman, deprive her of the internet. She is a danger. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Aileris, a.k.a. Panda Daddy, and I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, let me know in the comments down below, and leave a like if you liked the video. And if you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe, fam. What you doing watching videos and not subscribing? And if you're old, make sure you hit that bell so you get these notifications every time. I'll reiterate that we are doing a Q&A on the Discord, so if you haven't joined the Discord already, you should already do that. The picture above is all the information you need to know about the Q&A. We're going to be just talking, having fun. I realize just so many of you guys have joined the channel, so many of you guys just don't know me don't know any of the inside jokes don't any, don't know any of the lore all that stuff so go ahead and jump into the discord tomorrow at 4 p.m we're gonna be talking we might even watch a movie we'll just do all sorts of things to hang out and i hope to see you there and as always we gotta thank the patreon supporters that make content like this possible a big thank you to bunning snags are great uncle fucker rail sparrow the fourth lick clyde the hobo caroline banana a sleep Queen Kajina, a generic fox fur, Viva LaRue, I didn't butt my viewers true, Benny's Big Bean Burrito, Nobs, Upanut, D4C, Kiri the Sloth, Lady Laughs a Lot, Swiss Patreon user, Esau, Izuku, Muffy Lou Who, Noah, Vermont, John Robinson, Eva, Catherine Taylor, Hannah, and Will Billy, thank you so much for your support, it is greatly appreciated, and if you want to help support the channel, there's two links in the description, one to my merch store and one to my Patreon, both funds go directly into the channel so we can maintain what's happening here, and as always, stay zesty! Indeed.